Hey, SBC, Pastor Nate here with a really important announcement for us. Um, we have a plan of when we're going to begin doing live uh, gatherings once again. I'll share that with you in just a moment. Uh, as you all know, on March 15, uh, we made the decision out of a heart of submission to uh, the authorities that God had placed over us in response to the executive order that Governor Whitmer had established, um, really as a desire to be cooperative with local areas and agencies and, and other ministries, as well as really a heart for love for our community and for one another, we made the decision uh, to stop having live services on March 15. And now we're looking at what's next as we go forward. And, and our plan at this point, as we have evaluated all of the different um, uh, things that need to be considered, uh, as we have consulted with medical professionals and other ministry leaders in our area, in our region, and quite frankly, nationally, as we've tried to make sense out of kind of where things are at, um, we've made the decision that uh, two days after the executive order is lifted, which the executive order is expected to be lifted as of June 12th, June 14, then, we're going to begin having live gatherings at Rogers Park in the amphitheater. Rogers Park is literally just down the street from our church. Uh, they've got a, a really great setup there with an amphitheater, a gathering space that's very large where we can spread out. Uh, there's easy access uh, for those with limited mobility, uh, specifically our senior adults that can come in up by where the Civic Center is. Um, they'll be able to either set up uh, some chairs up there for you or we can help you walk down the, the ramp. We'll have people there to do that. Uh, that service on June 14 is going to be at 10 a.m. We're going to move the time up just a little bit. We're going to start our service at 10 a.m. on June 14, and then we're going to have start having live services there for the next several weeks after that. At some point, we will make a transition into the church. We're still working out those details and the timing of that. Um, but June 14 at Rogers Park at 10 a.m., we're going to begin having our live services. Uh, we are so excited to be back together again, and we want to invite you to come participate with us. Uh, we're praying for great weather. Uh, we're praying for God just to be kind and gracious in that way to us as we begin to put those things in place for the next several weeks. We're going to ask for a couple things from you. I'm going to ask you to be positive. Um, we know that for some of you, this is way later than what you were expecting and hoping. Uh, for others of you, you're still concerned about whether or not this is the wise decision for us to move forward with at this point. We understand that we're asking you to be positive. We're asking you to give grace to one another, to be gracious to one another. The perspectives on this are very diverse. How we respond, how we're interpreting what's coming at us, um, even the statistics and the other information that we're receiving, we're seeing and responding to that very differently. And so we need to be gracious to one another in the midst of that. Specifically, I'm asking you to not be critical, to not be critical of other people and how and why they choose to respond. The last thing that we want is to be able to have live services and then have people be critical because certain people are not showing up for those services yet because they don't feel comfortable doing that. Uh, or others that, that feel like other people are not taking the proper precautions that they should be taking in the midst of that. We're asking you to not be critical of one another. We're asking you to give grace for, to one another. We're asking you to be positive and to be upbeat about what, what's going on and where we're moving together. And then lastly, we're going to ask you to stay engaged with us. We know for some of you, because it's delayed longer than you want it to be, for some of you, because you, you feel like we've just not taken the courageous steps that we should have taken at certain points and, and maybe are concerned about those, uh, perspe that perspective, um, I'll just ask you to stay engaged with us. Stay with us. Your leadership has been wrestling with this praying about this, consulting about this. Um, I promise you the group of leaders that are making these decisions, they're not scared and they're not cavalier. Uh, they are concerned. They are, they are walking uh, with great uh, perspective and wisdom that we're asking for from, from God himself, uh, heavenly wisdom that can only come from him, from the, the other uh, people and leaders and, and community leaders and medical leaders that can offer us perspective on this. Um, we're asking you to stay engaged with us uh, as we continue to walk forward. And then lastly, we're asking you to just pursue unity, uh, to empathize with each other, to continue to seek to connect with one another. Over the next couple of weeks, uh, for some of you, it may make sense to join together in a small group and watch the service uh, together as a small group, uh, maybe in someone's home, maybe in somebody's backyard. For others of you, maybe just joining together at the park and being able to spend time together in those different settings. Call one another, check in with one another. 
but we want to pursue unity and we want to stay connected through this time. We're really excited to be able to get things going again on June 14 at Rogers Park in the amphitheater. Hope that you will join us there at 10 a.m. Uh, for, for a live service and uh, we'll keep you updated as we go from here. SBC, you are loved, you are missed. You are prayed for and so excited to have the opportunity to worship together once again in just a couple of weeks. God bless you.